Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pony and Wolf Productions video. My name is Visual Pony and today we are reading the story Dear Someone, I Discord You So by Lise. This is a sequel to the story um, Dear Discord, I Hate You So Much, also by Lise. And I just had to read this because I loved the other story so much. So, uh, yeah. And without further ado, here's this amazing list of those amazing people who keep donating to our channel and give us a food budget. Because yes, I have been asked in PMs and emails if this is actually true. Yes, it is. This is our monthly food budget and it is not much. Like right now we have, I think, five slices of toast, half a pack of pepperoni and quarter pack of butter in the fridge. So, um, <clears throat> that will have to last us for another few days. So, that is not much. Uh, if you want to help us and support this channel and get amazing perks, there's a Patreon link and also a merch store down in the description below. Dear Someone The mail came sometime during the night. Without warning, Ponyville donned to hundreds of letters addressed to every single one of its inhabitants. Appearing on top of every pillow, the mismatched envelopes announced their presence by having a set of horns trumpet their arrival. Written in italic on the upper left corner was a cryptic To You, D, with a name added underneath. The name was different for every recipient. The message, however, was exactly the same. Dear someone, I discord you, or oh, so I would say. Interesting letter you sent me. You do know I have a daughter, right? Did you even bother thinking about her feelings? I expect not. You just waltz in my home like a deranged postal worker and... Not only, but also... And did you ever... Might happen? No, it's all about you. Always about you. You and W-2. Next time, I'm making you pay for all the cookies it took to dry her vanilla tears. She was so upset she couldn't even cry chocolate. Oh, and don't think I didn't notice you at the gala. By the way, FYI, IIRC, it was Celestia who invited me. And don't start trashing her this soon. You haven't even moved in, and you're already acting like an evil stepladder. Did I mention I have a daughter? Makes a turn. Funny thing about that, the actual reason Luna was banished to the moon was that she ain't. It's best if we don't get into that for now. Let's just say that there are some major differences between what happened and the version you were taught at school, and leave it at that. Right, the gala. Well, I may have been a tad upset, but even my dear friend Fluttershy, uh, smooth, would understand, and Fluttershy and I are just friends. I have no idea who told you otherwise, and when I catch that bunny, I'll roast him. But there haven't been any advances on my part. As for Fluttershy, do not go there. Yes, I know it's a burden I am fated to carry. Curse my perfect self, for my beauty is the cause of all wars in Equestria. Even so, t others have been unable to resist my charms. I have noticed you, by the way. You glance at me when you think no ponies looking. Hide your feelings under that facade of yours. Talking about feelings, oh boy, quite the mess you've got yourself into. Your love life. It's so absurd, it's actually amusing. You know it won't work out. Is that what this is about? You want to get your future ex so jealous by flirting with me? Are you so heartless? Why, you really? Me, and I mean, me hard. Psst. I have a cloud randomly rain roses and candles tomorrow around six. Thank you, face. If Celestia asks, you don't know a thing. On to serious matters, Screwball has been asking if you could give her lessons. I think this is a perfect opportunity for her to get to know you. Hint, no screw old ball jokes. She's heard her quota for the week. Maybe get a small gift for her to make her warm up to you as a parent. I won't ask for much, just some chaos emeralds, a bunny tail, a slice of purple, and the 19th page of your favorite book. Oh, and something shiny for Screwball. Don't worry about my other sweetie. She is still in her goth phase, so she probably won't bother you, as long as you don't dream. How will you break the news to your friends? 
Not that it's in my business or anything. It's your choice, decision and all that, but take it from me. Nothing cushions the pain better than a house of cake. Cake and ice cream heal all hearts. Why do you think Celestia is obsessed with cake? Don't quote me on that. She's a bit touchy on the subject. Also, I'd love to help you in the matter, but I'll have some terribly urgent and unforeseen business to attend to whenever you decide to come clean about me. Rest assured, mom's the word, nudge nudge wink wink. Brown really suits you, you know. Don't let any pony tell you otherwise. Although, it's going to take both of us some getting used to things. You are so much used to harmony while I am discord. Yes, it's a horrible pun, but don't try to pretend you didn't chuckle. Oh, I know you're blushing. Compromises will have to be made, I guess. I'll make sure to get a boring or the bound bed at my place, but be warned, I prefer to sleep on the ceiling. Also, you better learn how to snore properly. Those sounds you make in your sleep. Sheesh! Horrible. Worse than horrible. Don't ever stop. Well, that's that, I guess. Sweet dreams and don't blush too much. Oh, that's triple O's. Discord. P.S. You really shouldn't be ashamed of playing with dolls. It's perfectly natural, and not something to be kept secret. Why, I myself have been playing with puppets for centuries. There's even a picture of me in Celestia's throne room. She made a big fuss about it at the time. It was all about me acting my age and not playing with dolls and such. I wasn't even given the chance to explain they were rare action figure collectibles. On that note, no marriage. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. In any event, we'll discuss it later. And just because your dolls are girly dolls is no reason to keep them hidden away. I'll have Cloud randomly rain dolls near you around now. If Luna asks, you know nothing. A total silence fell over the town as ponies gasped in utter horror and confusion. Several voices broke the calm, filling the streets with shouts of No! <laughs> Meanwhile, a small pink cloud sneakily made its way through the sky, pouring roses and candles all over the houses as it flew by. Hello everyone and welcome back to Common Thomas Visual Pony. Let me get right into the meat of the story because, oh my word, that was brilliant, Discord. You don't know who it was, so you simply sent a letter to every pony in Ponyville. But I can see a lot of marriages and stuff having a bit of a problem here because Discord is basically saying that, you know, um, you are soon to be ex. Ah, uh, yeah, that could be a problem for some ponies in relationships. I hope he took that into account, and usually as you know, pranks are pretty harmless, but this could actually cause a lot of harm. You know, especially imagine Mr. and Mrs. Cake waking up to the same letter. Ah, three summers discord. I'd never thought I'd think about that with Mr. and Mrs. Cake. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, end this here before my mind wanders to even more crazy places. And as always, I hope that this video finds you well in body and mind.